Inside the adult intensive care unit at the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital, the low hum is punctuated by the steady beeping of machines working to save lives. Nurses and aides at KHMH are ready for any urgent call. While the ward serves as a refuge for the critically ill, this month it's adorned with vibrant shades of red, white and blue, reflecting the spirit of the season. Darwin Slusher has dedicated his entire professional life to medicine and serving others. From his early days as an emergency medical technician to his advancement as a nurse practitioner, Slusher's commitment to his profession is deeply entwined with his love for his country. I'm currently still an active EMT and I am a registered nurse. And so service for me, um, is pretty much all I know and I am a, I believe I'm a service oriented person. I was also a volunteer firefighter at one point um, in my career. And um, it's just, I guess, love of country that motivates and drives me to want to um, give back to my community. Good afternoon, my dear, may we be of assistance? Maurice Westby, a familiar face at the KHMH, may not be a frontline worker but he's often the first person you'll meet when arriving for services. September is known for national celebrations, but Wesby notes that it's also one of the hospital's busiest months. Once you're on duty here for the September celebrations here at the KHMHA, you don't really get a chance to celebrate it, ma'am. You have to be co committed fully to what you do because you have the people coming in here looking for medical attention, so you will have family members who are concerned about their relative and with all the alcohol and things involved, you have people coming here with their emotions very high. Slusher emphasizes that what unites many of these staff members in times like these is their shared sense of civic duty and patriotism, expressed through their dedicated service to the nation. What it looks like for us um, displaying our um, civic pride and patriotism is we get to be there when you are for example, sick. Um, well, fortunate for me, for Carnival, I was out. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to the other um, festivities, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but I'll speak for myself. It gives me great pride to know that I am on call here for our country's men when, you know, unfortunate events, you know, happen. How does the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital celebrate the 21st of September? There's a lot of festivities taking place outside of your building, but how do you guys celebrate that significant day for Belize? Well, it starts off, but as you can see in the background, we decorate our units and that motivates us and gives us that, that, hey, we're in the party mood. And what Kitchmitch does is, well, we play our national anthem on um, Independence Day through our intercom. Um, the hospital have special dinner for us, for the nurses and doctors, for our staff who are working. And they give us little tokens, little goodie bags, and we appreciate that. And then we get to be out of our, our uniform. We get to wear um, our red, white, and blue colors. And so that in itself, yeah, we feel that we're a part of the celebration of, the, of there, you know. The Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital opened its doors on September 15, 1995. Since then, there has never been a day this hospital has not been open for service. With a growing staff of over 700 workers, public relations manager Tylan Tillett says that this is their duty to remain accessible to the nation regardless of the season. September is special for us. Um, the 15th of September, which was on Sunday, was our 29th anniversary of serving the public. We've been open since 1995. Um, again, to give you context, the KHMH was opened to a country of 210,000 persons. Today, the census data shows that we are almost at 500,000 persons. Um, this facility has grown in leaps and bounds in trying to keep up with the, requir the health care requirements of the public. That means that you have 700 persons on a shift basis providing services to the nation 
ambulances are coming here, people with difficult pregnancies are coming here. To be a village in Belize, you need to have 300 persons. So this is two villages bringing you that level of care. We are dedicated, we are on a shift system. Our workers know that they must be here present for the nation um, in any context because although Belizeans are celebrating and, and being happy, life does not stop. In moments like these, the innovation of hospital staff truly shines. Take this doctor, for example, who ensures that her patients experience the spirit of the festivities the moment they step into her clinic. For Maurice Westby, patriotism lives in his heart. What matters, mom, is what you have in your heart. Sometimes duty calls, sometimes you have to even neglect your family. Sorry to say it like that, but sometimes, mom, what matters is what's in your heart. So if you know, I know I am patriotic in my heart. I know what I did for my country. When you see that patient come into the emergency department, example in a road traffic accident, they come either here to the ICU or to one of the different patient areas, and then that patient has recovered and discharged, and that person says, nurse, thank you. That is one of the greatest feeling you have as a healthcare provider. No money, hands down, can ever repay you for that gratification you feel when you see that person restored back to normalization. Looking on the bright side, I'm Sabrina Daly.